Okay, do you think you could put a skewer through the balloon without popping it? Uh, totally. Here we go. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah, I don't think so. Let me try. I'm actually gonna take the skewer and put it into a little bit of oil. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna see if I can get it to go through. Good luck. Why are you holding your ears? I'm thinking it's gonna pop. Oh. <laughs> and I did it. Oh my gosh, how did you do that? Our discrepant event is called skewer through balloon. It aligns with GPS standard S5P2. The students will explain the difference between a physical change and a chemical change. Okay, so in order to do this discrepant event, you need a balloon that's not blown up too big and not too small, but a good medium size. Your skewer, it can be wooden or metal, needs to be dipped in oil or petroleum jelly, although we found oil works best. Um, this acts as a lubricant. So you are going to put the skewer at the, at, at the end of the balloon, not where the tie is, but at the other end, and slowly twist it as you lightly push it through. So it will take a little bit of time but eventually you can push it in without the balloon popping. Yay! The science behind our event is that balloons are made of latex and latex is formed from polymers. The polymers form a chain of molecules in the balloon that help the balloon stay together. If you push the skewer through very quickly, you will actually break the polymers apart, causing the balloon to pop. However, if you push it through really slowly, you're just pushing the polymers aside and when you get the skewer in, they actually combine back together, which helps the balloon to stay intact.